Good evening, Sam Matthew. It's already Thursday today, and I know you have been in a great, very great moments in a week. Uh, you know, news and seeing around us look very disappointed. But God is with us. He's taking us in his hands and leading us. And um, today, it has been a day that I have been reflecting a lot about families since this morning. Hear about many families in, in the Middle East, families in, in Africa, in Latin America, around the world. Family are suffering. And today, I, I, I want to, to use the moment in the evening to pray for families. Pray for our family, pray for the family of many people around us. And, and the value of the family from God. What, what is value? The children are value for God. The parents, the grandparents, is, 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 is a great thing. So we're we going to worship God and we're going to spend that moment of the evening to say thank you to the Lord for what he has been done in us and giving us a family. And not only our family uh, in, in our human Thing, but a family as 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 a christian family as a spiritual family so let's pray together and let's spend that moment with god oh god may speak to say yes oh lord may hate to help us they should come for shoot from the stock of Jess, and branch should grow out in his root and the spirit of the lord should rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and might, a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He should not just by what his eyes see or decide by what his ear hear, but with the righteousness, he should just the poor and decide with equality for the meek of the air. The wolf should dwell with the lamb. And the leopard should lie down with the key, the calf, the lion, and the first limb together with the little children. Them, they should no hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the air should be full of the knowledge of the Lord, and the water cover the sea. Every test that when I read a prayer, I think about the perfect moment of the Lord when everything will be perfect, when every, everything will be so perfect and we're not going to have fear. And, and we can see the leopard lying down with kids. How beautiful picture of peace, of harmony. That's the promise of God, our Lord, to us. That's picture. So continue with that spirit and pray for that. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and should be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer reads before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our first Psalm is Psalm 61. And it's a Psalm to asking for mercy to the Lord. So let's pray with one heart. God, hear my cry. Pay attention to my prayer. From the end of the air, I will cry to you whenever my heart is overwhelmed. Please me on the rock that is too high for me. For you have been a refuge for me, a, a, a tower of strength before my enemy. Let me make my home in you ten forever. Let me hide under the shelter of your wing. For you, God, has hear my promise. You have assi assigned to me the heresy of those who fear your name, and day after day to the king of life. May his tears continue. 
for many generations, for many generations. May he be enthroned before God forever. Appointing your gracious love and trust to guard him. So I will sing song to your name forever. I will fulfill my promise day by day. Amen. Fear no, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear no, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you should not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear no, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Amen. Today, the gospel, I'm going to read this very small. It's a New Testament reading, and it's my reflection about family today. And I want you to read with me. It's in 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. You see, if someone say, I love to God, but hate his brother, he's a liar. But you can not love your brother. You can say you love God and you know have been seen and not love your brother than you see every day. I know it's a very, you know, a strong verse, but I, I choose this verse because how you can say that you love God and you hate your brother? You don't see God, but you see your brother. So that is what I, I, I have been reflecting. God is in relationship with himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then we understand that the Trinity, the greatest expression of his love for humanity came through his Son. You know, he sent his Son for, to show the love to us. God the Father sent God the Son to say the word, revealed by God the Holy Spirit. This is the language of family. Family describes the God that Christian worship and follow. That is the God that we believe. In, in, in the family of God. That is what God wanted. That's unity. That's because he said, you can't say you hate your brother. Because family is so important in the heart of God. He working with us as a family. We will only understand how important family are to our emotional well-being when we understand that God creates family and, and, and an expression of himself. God, God put us in family because what's important for him family is important we have so many kind of family in this in that new world that we live you know before we have mom and dad and and children and now you know the the, the world is changing but family is something important and it's still being put at grandparents uncles cousin foster parents, adopting parents, family coming now in different version, but still family, because God put us as a family. And since we are creating his image, we will only prosper when we, we reflect his natural. You know, we are be created as God creation. So we, 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 we're going to show that one, as we live that as a family. You know, family is a great way to show the love of God. And why I am thinking about that today? Because in all that wonderful thing that we live, or all that back thing that we live in, family always play a great role. 
why God put children in family. Because it's important that children grow up emotionally, socially, physical, and a well-being in the family. That's because it's important, the family. And we need to take care of that. God have a heart for the family. Your family is important. So I stand up today and pray for your family, for the family around you, for your family uh, far away of you, for the family of the world, because the enemy, the enemy of our life are tied to destroy the family. We need to help the family to know God. The intention of God when he created us is that we grow in that unity than in the family. The intention of God is for them to be together, the family. And how beautiful is that in all of that, talking about foster families, adopted family, God say, God has adopted us as, you know, as a father. He is the father of fatherless. If he's someone who has a father, God is a father. He is the mother. Because that is the same that he has for us. Family is important. And God is the center of the family. It's a fact. It's a reality. The Bible, the Bible is very clear about God call us to serve him. You know, to serve him, the family. And I want today before we're going to pray taking your family in your hands if you live with grandparents you live with uncle if you live with your parents what is your family organization i don't know but it's your family and god put you and your family and and it's important and i want you make a special prayer for the family of the world today there's so many families suffering watching this program that people sending me from, from the Middle East. It's so sad how many children are without families, fatherless, motherless. Because mom and dad and I, uncle and I, down they live with a neighbor and neighbor become the family. Family is something special that God created for us. So today we're going to pray for family and we're going to say thank you thank you the lord because he is great to us and we're going to pray pray for your family see you are in trouble with any of your family member stand up and say sorry i feel sorry today because you my family family is important if you feel you have so long time without talking with your uncle with your auntie with your grandma with your parent call them may may them feel then you are there for them. Family is the more important part of the present that God has been given to us. So today we're going to pray. We're going to pray for families. We're going to pray for many children in the world that are without family. We're going to pray for many people in the world that live alone, that don't have family. Because God is the father of the fatherless. He is a great father. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, you today. We, we thank you, you, because you have been created as wonderful thing that is a family. So we have the opportunity to live and have a love and, and company. And we can grow in because we are our family. And I thank you, you Lord, not only for my spiritual family, my physical family, but I love, Lord, to pray as well for all that extension family that we have in the world then you have been created for us. Thank you because you have been teaching us how to live in family, how you sending your son to die for many of the sons that you have because you love family. Thank you for what you have been done. Thank you for mommies, daddies. Thank you for uncles and grandparents. Thank you for family. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the brother and sister. Thank you for cousin. Thank you because you have been made us to live in family. And I pray today for the thousand and thousand of children in the world that don't have family. I pray that they start to know that you are the father of all. And you, you may have to live in family. 
I thank you for my family. And I thank you for my family in St. Matthew. Thank you for my family in, in, in the Church of England. Thank you because you have been giving an extension family, a huge family, that we are part now, that we are not alone now. Thank you. Thank you because you are adopting us in a family. Thank you to you, my Father, and I love you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, we will continue to praying and singing to you, Lord, because you are an amazing Father. You are an amazing Lord. You are our Lord. Lord. You are an amazing. Oh. 
together. Let's continue to pray the Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, giving us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Send thee to God. Amen. God bless you today. And taking family in your hands today. That's my reflection today. And I want you putting your heart and thinking about God put you in family. Bless your family. If you are not close to your family today, close them. Close them to you. Hold them. Bring them closer to you. Because that's the plan of God, to honor the family. God bless you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>